Wednesday afternoon, and we got basketball on the agenda. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Well, guys, LeBron James, arguably the most versatile player in league history. He said, quote, I don't have a position. I'm not a point guard, a shooting guard, a small forward, a power forward, or a center. I'm just a ball player. I do a little bit of everything and whatever it takes to win. That's my job description. This guy's one of one, Ali. Thank you. Let's take a look at our starters for Denver. Porter Jr. and Gordon at the three and the four. Murray and Caldwell Pope are the backcourt pairing. And it's Jokic in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Los Angeles, Jared Vanderbilt out there with LeBron James. And then it's Anthony Davis. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Reeves in at the two. And both teams tonight unafraid to run offense through their bigs, Grant. Talk about the value of being able to do that. Yeah, B.A., you know, it just speaks to how both teams can beat you in multiple ways of playing. I think he can lead to higher percentage looks with the bigs running the offense. You can strike a nice balance between inside and out, which coaches are preaching right now. Now Los Angeles with it. Pass to Davis. Here's Vanderbilt. James inside. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. How about this combination? Strength of a center and guard skills. LeBron James remains the game's most difficult wing to defend inside. Now here's Murray. Here's Caldwell Pope. Offline with a three. Here's Reeves. Sends it home from three-point land. You know, with each season in the league, AD's become more of a facilitator. Actually, he's much more aware of how to make plays for his teammates. Now here's Gordon. Back to Murray. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Here's Russell. Pass to James. To the middle. Tipped. And finished off by Davis. Doesn't take a lot for AD to get to the rim. With his length, he can throw it down easily. Murray against Russell. And here's Jokic. Shoots over Davis. James with the rebound. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of three so far from the floor. Pass to Russell. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Here's Reeves. Here's Davis. For three, James. No good that time. Now Denver takes it the other way. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And here's Porter outside. Rebound by the Lakers. Here's Davis. And down it goes. Two points. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Now here's Jokic. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. And the officials called goaltending, so they'll award the basket. Yeah, it was just a little late. I mean, he thought he got there, but the ref saw it otherwise. Here's Russell. And we've heard LeBron James say he's obsessed with win or bust. And this Lakers franchise certainly has that same approach. But aside from their 2020 title, there's been a lot of frustration. Now, can he and the Lakers get back where they expect to be? For Denver, they've gone two of six to open up this game. Jokic with a screen on Russell. Murray finds Jokic. Porter with it. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Around the hoop, Nikola is deadly. Great touch from Jokic there. 
fires from 14. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. James has got six points. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Jokic the screen. Here's Caldwell Pope. Second chance shot. Jokic gets the bucket. You know, when Jokic gets his hands on an offensive rebound, it's too late to try to stop him. He doesn't waste too many second chance opportunities. Porter against James. Vanderbilt, a screen on Porter. James passes to Vanderbilt. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Boy, you got to love that assist by LeBron. Now a timeout called by Denver. LeBron led the NBA in assists during his 2020 title season with the Lakers becoming the second oldest player ever to lead the league in that category. Jokic passes to Murray. Misses the three. Man, that assist title for LeBron. An incredible accomplishment for someone of his size, Clark. I bet you didn't know this, B.A., or maybe you did, because you are a factoid machine, but the only <laughs> player taller than LeBron to lead the league in assists, Wilt Chamberlain, when you throw in winning the bubble championship finals MVP, 2020 might have been LeBron's finest season. Knocks down the long J. A lot of times, Jokic is creating a jump shot for somebody else, but he's just as good a receiver as he is a distributor. And that's pretty impressive for a seven-footer. Now, here is James. He's got six. Can't get it to go. Three for five shooting so far. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. And he lobs it up to the rim. And stolen by Vanderbilt. Here's Reeves, outside Russell. James inside, covered by Jokic. James can't get it to go. Murray against Russell, outside Porter. Back to Murray. Six to shoot. Jokic with a screen on Russell. Pass to Porter, takes the three. The Lakers with a rebound. James with the ball. Outside Russell. Back to James. And it falls for him. He's now four of seven from the field. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Jokic with a screen on Russell. Murray with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. So much NBA talent like Paul Murray out of Canada, specifically the province of Ontario. Yeah, very true. And I think that's because guys like Murray, born in the late 90s, they grew up with the NBA in Toronto. And Jamal and others have been inspired by the Raptors. First one falls for him. And when healthy, Murray is a force, a force to be reckoned with because he can go get baskets against tough defense and he can also make plays for others. And Murray drops them both. Jamal Murray suffered a terrible knee injury back in April of 2021, tearing his ACL late during that season and missing over a year of basketball as a result. Russell from outside. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. 
Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Pass to Murray. On the wing, Porter. Back to Murray. Jokic with a screen on Davis. Here's Murray. And it's blocked by Davis. No, sir. Don't bring that in here. AD having none of that. What an imposing figure he is defensively. James passes to Vanderbilt. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. And the Lakers lead by eight. Clark, for a guy like Murray, ACL injuries used to be a potential career in Not anymore, though. You're exactly right, B.A. I mean, with the advances in modern medicine and rehabbing from injuries, the way these guys strength train, it really is remarkable that they're able to come back and in many cases be better than they were before after what used to be a career ending injury and that's thanks to doctors and physical therapists. The modern medicine change has changed the NBA elongating careers for sure. Hachimura's checked in for Los Angeles. Schroeder comes in for Russell. Bryant, he's checked in for Denver. Brown comes in for Jamal Murray. The Lakers will take it. Beasley's checked in for Los Angeles. Green's checked in for the Nuggets. Smith comes in for Caldwell Pope. Now, here is James. Give him eight points now. Davis with a screen on Porter. And he lobs it up top. And finished off by Davis. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Smith against Schroeder. And it's blocked by Davis. Now here's Schroeder. Tight defense on him. Pass to Beasley. To the inside. And finished off by Davis. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Smith, no good. Los Angeles has gone one of four from deep. Here's Schroeder. Back to James. Over Smith. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And the Nuggets shooting 33% in the first quarter. Green with a screen on James. Clock is at three. And there's Green on the assist by Smith. You know, in addition to his blinding speed, Smith just drops dimes all over the place. He's really difficult to match up against in the pick and roll. Now here's Schroeder. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Hachimura finds Davis. Pass to James. Davis a screen. 
James can't get it to go. Outside, Brown. Here's Green. Smith outside. And here's Porter outside. No good. Here are the Lakers now. Ten point lead. Right side, Schroeder. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It goes on Ish Smith. Clever move by Schroeder there, ensuring that he drew the foul while also still getting the shot up. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. To me, it's been the ball move. That's been the key. I mean, going from good to great. Not settling for a good shot, making that extra pass, keeping the defense off balance, and taking great shots. Another area they've excelled in is the points in the paint. They've been able to gouge the interior defense so far in this one. And he drops the first. Boy, the shifty, quick-footed Schroeder is a um, great weapon to have. Whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's a very effective player. The Lakers making a switch here. Bamba's checked in. And Denver with a change here, too. Najee's checked in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. Smith passes to Bryant. Back to Smith. Bryant a screen on Schroeder. Pass to Bryant. Takes a 13-footer. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Guys, that's all athleticism and timing. Bamba, a terrific shot blocker because he uses the physical tools he has quite well. Now here's Schroeder. Now here's Beasley. From downtown. Here's Bamba. Up and in on the layup. And the Lakers lead by 14. Bamba's got crazy length and impressive height, obviously, at north of seven feet. Helps him on that offensive board, but his tenacity a big part of that, too. Schroeder against Smith. Schroeder passes to James. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. When you look at the career that LeBron has put together, one of the all-time greats, amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. Taking shooting. That one's off. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. The very true B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. Jackson, he's checked in for Smith. And he's good on the second. Hey, there are guys who have played as long as LeBron, okay? But how many have maintained their physical abilities the way he has so late in his career? I think that's a short list. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Schroeder with it. Jackson in his pocket. Pass to James. Screen by Bamba. And here's James. He's got nine. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. And it's Achimura missing. Denver has gone just one of six from downtown. Here's Jackson. Oh, the teardrop falls in. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Schroeder passes to James. Schroeder, a screen on green. Back to Schroeder. Three-pointer. Here's Bamba. And no good. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. Now a timeout called by Denver.
Pope's checked in for the Nuggets. Four seconds left now in the first quarter. Here's Jackson. Drives to the hoop. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Now, the quickness of Reggie Jackson, terrific. Superb at slicing apart the defense with his drives to the rack. Now James. Nine points in the game. Bamba, the screen on green. Releases from 15. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. The Lakers on top. They're up by 11. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. And it's time for an injury report. Guys, I was able to talk with Denver's head athletic trainer about his status, and he was relieved that the shoulders only bruised. Looks like he avoided what could have been a very serious injury. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Rui Hachimura is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. Then it's Mo Bamba. And it's Reeves and a shooting guard. That's the group for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. Caldwell Pope's shot is off. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Russell. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got four rebounds now. Jokic the screen. Murray passes to Jokic. Here's Caldwell Pope. Covered by Bamba. Pass to Jokic. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Well, Clark, you've got your good players in the league. But then there's that group that is in that elite category. What type of player commands that kind of respect? Well, I think it's a guy who shows up every day but produce, and produces at a high level. I think you probably tip your hat to scores in that case, but there's a lot of respect and cachet given to outstanding defenders. Anybody that's excellent consistently, I think, gets a level of respect that's special. And he trims the lead to single digits. Jokic has got 13. Jokic breaking down defenses and coin the work, getting busy. This guy is such a talented offensive player and a joy to watch. And it's Hachimura missing. The Nuggets trail. Pass to Jackson. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And grant a career resurgence for Reggie Jackson. Yeah, B.A., after dealing with injuries, even at one point considering walking away from the game, he's found renewed success, and he's shown he's got plenty left in the tank. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Michael Porter, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Los Angeles, they've gotten only one of four shots to go in. Hachimura outside. Back to Russell. Here's Reeves. Five on the clock. And out of bounds. Denver will have it. And the Nuggets making a change here. Brown's checked in. Bruce Brown.
All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. And he makes a first. And both free throws good for Brown. The Lakers in the lead. Outside Russell. Pass to Vanderbilt. And here's Hachimura. He's guarded by Porter. Pulls it in from the elbow. Misses off the left iron. And it's the Nuggets ball. They're rolling here. Nine unanswered. And it's blocked by Davis. And here's Russell from deep. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got six rebounds now in the game. Murray against Russell. Pass to Brown. Now Jokic. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Outside Russell. Pass to Davis. Six on the shot clock. Here's Reeves. The Lakers with another miss. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Outside Porter. Now here's Brown. Jokic with it. Outside Murray. Fires the three. Hachimura with a rebound. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Outside Russell. Pass to Vanderbilt. From deep. The shot by Reeves. No good. And here are the Nuggets. They picked up 11 straight. Outside, Brown. Murray with it. Oh, swiped away. Davis with it. Checked by Gordon. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. 
it has got to be terribly frustrating to deal with Anthony Davis when you're guarding him. I mean, you try to get physical with him, you don't give him a clean look, and he still winds up with the bucket and the foul. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Right away, we've seen them finding points with solid post play. I mean, they're playing aggressively and fighting for it down there. And, you know, in no time at all, they've also started finding points inside, already taking apart that interior defense. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Greg, do you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean, it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection and numbers. And, of course, being a recent champion may have put him over the top. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Russell against Murray. Now here's Russell. He's guarded closely. Shot clock at six. Four three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got nine rebounds now. Outside quarter. Back to Jokic. He's now 8 for 11 after that made shot. Making the most of that possession. Unwilling to give up on the play. Russell, the pass to Achimura. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second team. At the line for Los Angeles. Rui two shots. Shooting two. And he drops the first. Smith, he's checked in for Jamal Murray. Both free throws good for Achimura. The Nuggets on offense. They're on a 15-5 run. Jokic with a screen on Russell. Here's Smith. And Davis with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Nuggets able to retain possession here. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter and it stifled him. The Lakers making a switch here. James is checked in. Here's Smith. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Just five to shoot. Gordon, the pass to Brown. The three. Rebounded by LeBron. James has got five rebounds in the game. To the left wing. The three from Russell. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got four assists in the game. Brown with it. To the paint. Here's Gordon. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Jared Vanderbilt picks one up. And Aaron Gordon Grant growing up in the heart of Silicon Valley, San Jose. Yeah, Aaron using that to his advantage, involved with some apps. And we've seen a lot of players getting into the tech world. Great to see guys like Gordon branching out into business. The first one falls. Aaron Gordon was one of the best scoring years of his career last year based on percentages. Still a very productive forward in this league. Beasley's checked in for the Lakers. Schroeder comes in for Russell. And a switch here also for Denver. Bryant, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. It's both from the stripe. 
Man, the leadership Aaron Gordon brings is tremendous, Clark. Yeah, it sure is, B. I mean, he's been around for a little bit, so he's got some seasoning. He's competed in the slam dunk contest. Um, a lot of hype surrounded him as a younger player, and right now he's a veteran that's poised and mature and does a really good job of mentoring his younger teammates. Now, here is James. He's got nine, and they recover it. Davis. Second chance effort. Misses off the right iron. The Nuggets have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Schroeder against Smith. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Green's checked in for the Nuggets. In for the Nuggets, Jeff Green. The Lakers in the lead. Schroeder finds Davis. Pass to Beasley. James against Porter. Looking to get it going. And James gets it to go. James has got 11. You know, LeBron's a very efficient shooter from mid-range, in my opinion. I like when he takes advantage of that area of the floor. Smith outside. Down low. Here's Green. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. That's how you pass the pumpkin. I mean, Smith really keeps his head on the swivel to get that ball over to his open teammates. Smith against Schroeder. Now here's Beasley. He's closely guarded. Pass to James. Here's Davis. Tries yet again, and count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Well, Davis, so dominant, so strong, so athletic, so skilled. He got everything he wanted right there. Bombas checked in for Vanderbilt, and Denver with a change here, too. Caldwell Pope's checked in for Brown. At the line for Los Angeles, Anthony Davis. One shot. One shot. That free throw, good from Davis. You know, in this 21st century version of the NBA, just being big is not enough. Davis personifies the evolution of the big guy. He's got game from everywhere on the floor. Bryant, the pass to Smith. Here's Green. Outside Porter. The Nuggets need to get one up. Here's Smith. James with the rebound. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Good on the 13-footer. You know, he entered the league as a straight-line dribble driver, KCP. He's worked hard to add some wiggle to his game. Now here's Beasley. And there's the call on Dennis Schroeder. That's his first foul of the game. Najee, he's checked in for Denver. Jackson comes in for Smith. In for the Nuggets, Zeke Najee. Reggie Jackson. For Denver, they've gone 8 of 15 in the second. Jackson against Schroeder. Count it. Jackson's got nine. In the NBA, you just can't let guys get to the rim. James, outside. Pass to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got six assists in the game. When Davis gets going like this, there's no way you can stop him. Giving you his entire package right now. Jackson can't get it to go. Well, the Lakers shooting 35% in the second so far. And here's Schroeder outside. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them pay when they do. 
Pass to Naji. Let's it fly. The rebound by Bamba. Bamba's got five rebounds tonight. James against Jackson. Now Davis. And here is Bamba. James outside. Here's Davis. And Bryant pulls it down. Denver has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Schroeder against Jackson. Pass to Naji from behind the arc. The Lakers with a rebound. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. James outside. Outside Schroeder. This one for three. Not going to go that time. From deep three-point range. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. And so it's Anthony Davis making things happen for the Lakers. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm with Coach Mike Malone. Coach, how concerned are you by the lack of urgency and execution in the first half? Yeah, very concerning. You know, uh, our starters weren't ready to play. They jumped us, tried to go to our bench, get them in the game. They took us out of our offense. Uh, so we didn't really have any flow on either end of the floor. You have to get back to being you in that second half. Thanks, Coach Malone. Tally, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. On the court for the Nuggets, Caldwell Pope and Porter Jr. They're the two and the three. Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle, and it's Murray in at the point guard position. You know, I think the passing skills of LeBron are his greatest asset, and he's got some great ones in addition to that. But his passing is other world get open he gets it to you with exactly the right speed and pace so you can handle it. and it's the Nuggets with the ball after the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago Caldwell Pope that three's off the mark well Los Angeles shooting 44 percent a pretty decent clip James passes to Vanderbilt outside Russell James a screen on Murray Back to James. Pass to Russell. Let's go with a three. That shot, no good. Now Denver takes it the other way. And here on the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Buries it from three. I think Caldwell Pope has done a nice job developing into a legit deep ball threat. Now James. He's guarded by Porter. Outside for Russell. Three-pointer, no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Murray. Pass to Porter. And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. He had the right idea. Just couldn't come up with the swipe. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. 
The Lakers have gone just one of three in the second half. Here's Reeves. The three. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Six points for him. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Murray for three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Pass to James. And the three off target. Denver's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. And in 2022, more history made by Nikola Jokic, becoming the first player to amass 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a single season. Now, here is James. 11 points in the game. Russell against Murray. Fires for three. The shot by Russell, no good. And Nikola Jokic breaking barriers at the center position, Grant. Oh, so true, B.A. That 2,000-1,500 season, it never been done before. The Joker's ability to be a facilitator at the five, almost a point center, we've never really seen that before. The Lakers have got just two of six in the second half. To the right side. Davis with a screen on Murray. Murray against Russell. Four on the clock. The three ball. And again, no good by the Lakers. And the Nuggets shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. Back to Murray. Let's it fly from 18. No good off the back of the rim. And the Lakers shooting a low 29% since halftime. And there's the lob. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Porter against James. To stop the drought. Caldwell Pope's shot is off. On offense, here are the Lakers. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. James, that's good. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Now a timeout called by Denver. in for Los Angeles. And a switch here also for Denver. Brown's checked in. Defense, the Lakers. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. It's at 15 points. Outside Porter to win the drought. And Reeves pulls it down. I'll tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Right side, Russell. Tries to break his ice. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Gordon's got five rebounds in the game. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thanks, guys. The NBA last season celebrated its 75th anniversary and announced the 75 greatest players in NBA history, gathering the living greats during the All-Star break. A lot of history, but Commissioner Silver said, we're a pretty young league when you think about it. Brian, I guess it's all relative. Yeah, indeed. Thanks for that, Allie. It's the fire he's playing with that has him leading the team in rebounds. And I tell you what, guys, nobody's been more physical in this game than he has. He has been a glass eater. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. Tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. Now, here is James. 
and he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. So physically powerful. A tough task to defend LeBron inside. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Lakers. Their defense has been on point all game long. They're out hustling the shooters and swatting down plenty of shots. Yeah, you know, the defense just hasn't been able to keep up with them in this one. The transition game as a result of good defense has been very strong. First free throw is good. The Nuggets making a switch here. Smith's checked in. Good on both. The Nuggets shooting at about 34% here in this game. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Shot is good by Gordon. Boy, I like the confidence here. Gordon is excellent at realizing when he has room to shoot even before he has the ball. That's what we call seeing a play ahead. Now, here is James. He's got 15. And it's James with the jam. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. Outside Russell. And stolen by Brown. Pass to Smith. For three, Gordon. They get it back. And it's Jokic missing. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Russell, the pass to James. Eleven feet out. No good. A bit long that time. Now here's Smith. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Jokic passes to Porter. Chalk up two there. Elite at moving the ball. Jokic is one of the best passers in the league regardless of position. No doubt he's the best five-man passer for sure. Timeout, now timeout. a timeout called by the Lakers. for the Lakers. Bamba's checked in for Vanderbilt. Beasley comes in for James. And it's Schroeder in for Russell. Bryant, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Green comes in for Michael Porter. Nuggets on D. 15-point game. Bamba, the screen on Smith. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Thomas Bryant. Second team. At the line for Los Angeles, Dennis Schroeder. At the line for two. down the first one. And both free throws good for Schroeder. The Nuggets shooting just 34% so far in this one. Smith outside. Here's Gordon. Baseline jumper right on the money. Gordon's got his second bucket of the night. And, and you know what, guys? Gordon's jump shot has come a long way, and he keeps on looking more and more confident taking these. Bamba, the screen on Smith. 
Schroeder passes to Bamba. And it's Bamba finishing strong. A brilliant dunk. And he hangs up there for a while, too. Like he's posing for the camera. He's just hanging out, posing for pictures, just making himself at home. Either that guy's or he wanted the photographers to get a good shot of Schroeder against Smith. Pass to Reeves. And here's Schroeder. He's got seven. Here's Bamba. And the layup is good off the glass. Bamba's got six. Well, he's a very effective scorer from there. Bamba's excellent at using his size to his advantage. Green with the ball. And there's the call on Dennis Schroeder. That'll be a second foul of the game. And we have to take another look at that block. <laughs> Showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sail. Najee, he's checked in for Gordon. Smith passes to Green. Back to Smith. Brown, a screen on Schroeder. Six on the shot clock. Smith, no good. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Pass to Reeves. Now Schroeder from outside the arc. The shot, no good. Now Smith. What? Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Now here's Bryant. Soft touch off the glass. Pulling no punches. Attacking the heart of that defense. Smith against Schroeder. Pass to Beasley. Let's it go from deep. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. Six points for him. Well, that's Beasley's shot right there. He loves to rise and fire and knock him down from behind the arc. Here's the screen by Bryant. Smith with it. Bomba covering. Green for three. He drops it from range. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Beasley. He has six. Hachimura with room to shoot. Again, the Lakers. You know, Beasley not trying to do too much or get too cute there. Just um, finding the open man in a simple fashion. Well done. Oh, got a piece of it. Hachimura outside. Outside, Brown. Pass to Smith. Oh, nice D from Schroeder. Los Angeles shooting an average of 43% for the floor. And he's going for the oop here. And it's Bamba finishing strong. Boom! At over seven feet tall with bounce. Bamba, a great option for the alley-oop. Bryant outside. There's 53 seconds left in the third. Smith inside, covered by Schroeder. A nice shot by Smith. Smith's gotten his first basket of the night. You know, he's developed a reputation as a pass first player, but Smith is a capable and consistent scorer, too. Takes a lot to slow him down. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, a double-digit deficit. They're going to have to play better. They need more of this kind of aggressive play. And Denver's shooting around 32% in the third quarter. Pass to Bryant. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Here's Reeves, covered by Smith. Here's Achimura, and it's slammed in by Achimura. He's undersized for a four, but his hops level the playing field. Smith outside. Shoots over Schroeder. 
good hustle that time on the defensive end from Dennis Schroeder, making the effort to stop the shot. And so it's Los Angeles. They're feeling great. A 21-point lead. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. It's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision, terrific IQ, everything you want in a point guard. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Well, the Nuggets shooting only 36% so far in this game. Jared Vanderbilt out there with Anthony Davis. Then it's Malik Beasley. Then there's LeBron James. And it's Russell in at the point. That's the Laker five. Jokic, no good. And so it's the Lakers with it. James outside. Davis a screen. Shot from 16. Offensive board. Outside for Russell. Up and over Gordon. The shot by Russell, no good. Here's Jokic. Outside Murray. Jokic with a screen on Beasley. Here's Murray. James with a steal. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. To the middle. And it's James with the jam. And something you never like to see, but guys, he definitely looks hurt. Yeah, that type of injury is always worrisome. Hopefully, he's okay. You're exactly right. I mean, with the way it looks, what we have to hope for now is that somehow it's not a long-term issue. Jackson, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Fourth quarter, still young. Just over a minute play. Jokic, the screen. And that one's good. Jackson for three. What a display of court awareness from Jackson. Coaches value guys who can effectively execute in pick and rolls. Oh, deflected and stolen by Jokic. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Jokic with a screen on Russell. Here's Jackson. The Lakers with a rebound. Earlier they held a 23-point lead. James up top. Defended by Jackson. Jackson against James. Davis a screen. Takes a 13-footer. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic just got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Pass to Jackson. Back to Jokic. Jackson outside. Clock at six. Launches a three. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. Yeah, you know, when you give Caldwell Pope any daylight to get his shot off, he's knocking it down. He's a gifted shooter. James, a screen on Jackson. Outside Vanderbilt. Now, here is James. He's guarded by Porter. That one's good from James on the assist by Vanderbilt. James has gotten four this quarter. He's been a piece of the puzzle tonight, but it's a team effort. Everyone's contributing to this lead. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. You know, one measure of Nikola Jokic's growth as a player is his triple-double tally. I mean, he's already among the NBA career leaders in that category. Shoot two. Free throw drops for Jokic. Well, among active players, only LeBron and Westbrook are ahead of Jokic in triple doubles, Clark. And B.A. with a lot of runway left in front of him. I mean, the Joker figures to keep climbing up that list. I don't know if he'll catch Russ or the big O at the top, but he's going to be in the neighborhood. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 
You know, we've seen Jokic embrace a larger leadership role. He wants to be the guy that leads his team, and that's not just with scoring. It's also with his voice. James. James can't get that one to fall. Denver has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Jackson against Russell. Jackson down low. And the layup falls. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. James against Porter. Davis with a screen on Porter. The three, James. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Not himself from range right now, but the only way out of this funk is to keep trying. Pass to Jackson. Jokic the screen. Let's the three fly. Unable to get that one. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Russell against Jackson. The three is up. And Russell with the three. And the Lakers lead by 18. Boy, you look at D'Angelo Russell. He's got a sweet stroke. The lefty can knock it down from three, but always seems to be playing at his pace under good control. Now here's Jackson on the wing porter. Pass to Jokic. Five to shoot. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Too big, too skilled. Jokic just methodically breaks you down. He's a very unique player. Shooting for Denver. Nikola Jokic at the line for two. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Jokic. Both shots good from the strike. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. James with the ball. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Weight room muscle on display there. James, even when he gets hit, he can still score. First team At the line for the Lakers, LeBron James. Shooting one. That free throw, good from James. Here's Jackson. Pass to Porter. Back to Jackson. Jokic with a screen on Russell. Here's Jackson. Davis with a rebound. Davis is... James with the ball. He's guarded by Porter. James passes to Vanderbilt. Davis with it. Over Porter. And Davis with the basket. On the assist by Russell. Russell's got his fourth assist in this one. Pass to Porter. Now Gordon. And stolen by Vanderbilt. Now here's Russell. Here's James. Defended by Jackson. James. That's good. James has got nine points in the quarter. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. And you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. The Nuggets with another miss. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 10-2 run here. Back to Davis. 
Beasley outside. Shoots over Jackson. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. And that's a low percentage shot. And I'm sure he knows it. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. Rebounded by LeBron. James has got 15 rebounds here tonight. Pass to Russell. Inside. Here's Davis. Can't connect from 13 feet out. The Nuggets have gotten just three of nine shots to go in. Struggling this fourth quarter. Here's Caldwell Pope. Jokic with it. Six to shoot. Jackson outside. From deep. Rebounded by LeBron. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. And it was maybe a step out of his range. Now here's Davis to the inside. And finished off by Davis. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. And Davis with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. And some changes here for the Lakers. Achimura is checked in for Vanderbilt. And Reeves is subbed in for Beasley. Brown, he's checked in for the Nuggets. On defense, the Lakers. Jokic with a screen on Russell. Brown passes to Jokic. And here's Brown. Just five on the clock. Jokic finds Brown. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got his third assist of the night. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Now here is James. Outside Russell. Puts up a three. They get it back. Here's Davis. Oh, breaks the dunk off the deceptive pump fake. Here's Caldwell Pope. Checked by James. It's Brown on the wing. Jokic with a screen on Russell. Back to Jokic. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. Miscommunication oftentimes leads to turnovers. That's something they'll want to discuss. So it's the Lakers now. James passes to Davis. Down low. Here's Russell. Lays it up and banks it in. Russell's got five points in the quarter. Well, you know, this is just who Russell is, in my opinion, guys. A very assertive and confident player who looks to score the ball as much as he can. Now here's Brown. Pass to Porter. Rebound by the Lakers. And here's James. Here's Reeves. Three-pointer. Hits a three-pointer. That man is laser-focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. Here's Caldwell Pope. And here's Porter outside. James with the rebound. James has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Russell to pass to James. To the paint. Pass to Reeves. Fires the three. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Davis has got his fourth assist in this one. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Caldwell Pope. Ooh, he can't stop the run as that misses. Los Angeles has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. A chance to get a quick injury report. Well, we got a chance here to check up on Jamal Murray's status. What do you have, Alan? Guys, I was able to talk with Denver's head athletic trainer about his status. They're treating it as a very serious injury. Early indications are that it's a broken shoulder. That'll be the end of his day and what could be the start of a long recovery process for him. It's hard to hear, guys. Okay, Allie, thank you. Boy, this injury definitely looks like it could be serious, guys. Uh -uh. 
Here's hoping it's not, but yeah, this team may have to get used to playing without him for a bit. And in the training room, guys, I mean, that is not going to be an easy injury to bounce back from. Now here's Hachimura. Here's Russell. Doesn't go that time. Nice D from Brown. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Lakers. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Anthony Davis. I think his authoritative defense was huge for them tonight. He established early that he wasn't allowing easy buckets. Now here's Russell, and it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. Defensive foul, Nikola Jokic. His third personal foul, second team foul. At the line for the Lakers, D'Angelo Russell. One shot. Free throw is good from Russell. Guys, it's always good to see a young player start to mature in front of our eyes, and Russell has been that kind of guy. He's done a great job figuring out how to become a better leader. And here's Bryant outside. Hachimura with a rebound. Pass to Russell. we see the Lakers taking the W here. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight, and the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. Alright, let's send it down to Ali LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Alright, thanks guys. D'Angelo, some great basketball tonight. Talk about the winning habits this team is forming. Keeping it simple on the offensive end, limiting our errors on the defensive end. And I think that piles up. We stay solid throughout the whole game. It's just simple, man. I think the, the simple we keep it, the better we are as a team. Keep it simple. What a great reminder. Thanks, D'Angelo. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game. Anthony Davis.